Hey guys, how you doing today? Canadian Kami here, uh, doing one inside because uh, it's raining, so I can't actually do a walkabout or anything like that. So, uh, Rex Murphy has released a new, uh, what has to be described as a delusional, hysterical rant uh, about Bill C-10, which is a, a liberal bill to uh, add specific regulations to the internet here in Canada. Rex Murphy, instead of using the opportunity to inform people about what the bill is, to have a larger discussion, has opted for the, what has now become standard conservative, just delusional hysteria, right? Uh, we'll be going through Rex Murphy's article the way we do, uh, and you'll see pretty clearly, like, this guy just needs to take his meds and go have a nap. The all-knowing liberals put up a tactical white flag when the national storm of who the hell do you think you are swept over them concerning their attempt to regulate the internet. Debate on a conservative motion related to Bill C-10 was shut down, but whether that means an end to this ludicrous travesty is open to question. What is more galling and more threatening than the bill itself is the set of mind behind it. The bill may die. The thinking that spawned it will remain. Bill C-7 isn't going to die. Like, one of the things that you'll notice when Rex Murphy writes about this, but when the media generally writes about it, because the, the media generally wants there to be hysteria surrounding every issue, right? They want every issue to be this high, heightened hysterical nonsense. The problem with that is that we can actually go read the contents of Bill C-10 online, right? You can just go take a look. And when you actually go take a look at the bill, you find it's actually very straightforward and very reasonable. What the intention is, and what is obviously going to happen, is that they want to extend the regulations that exist for television currently, and have existed for decades here in Canada, to internet providers like Netflix, or HBO, or Disney+, Plus, or any of these people, right? Uh, it's not this clamp down on free speech. It's not this repressive nonsense. Like, I'm not a fan of the liberals. I'm a communist. And I'm telling you this. It's, it's not a clamp down on anything. It's literally just saying like, oh, if you want to be a provider here in Canada, uh, then you need to have certain Canadian content, right? You need to have, uh, and you need to follow some basic guidelines, which have existed here in Canada for decades. It's, this is a non-controversial bill that hysterical delusional conservatives, because they are hysterical and delusional, uh, are taking and elevating into nonsense territory. C-10, an attempt to put a pillow over the free expression of all Canadians, didn't pop up like gopher-like out of the policy borough of a second-tier cabinet minister. Quite the contrary. The nefarious nugget was obviously the product of the top-rank philosophies of the Prime Minister's office, that sensorium of the whole Liberal Party, from which emerges guidance and wisdom to elevate the lives and labours of ordinary Canadians, all set out with the confidence of a close-minded Pope. Rex Murphy does wind a yarn, eh? Like, he, he really memorized that thesaurus in that dictionary, right? Uh, Bill C-10 uh, literally states within it that these regulations do not extend to independent users who are putting stuff on platforms. So if you're posting on Facebook or Reddit, Bill C-10 does not apply to you, right? It states it explicitly in the bill, and it's nefarious that Rex Murphy isn't telling you that. And who are the great thinkers who birth such a creature? Why, they are a band of intellects unmatched since the days of ancient Greece when Plato founded his academy and young Socrates and his buddy Aristotle were offering home tutorials at the bargain rate of a drachma a syllogism. Their business card was terse. You learn, we earn. The Wokemeisters in the PMO and the Wokemeister-in-Chief Justin Trudeau haven't reached the business card stage, but post-power, you may be sure they will. There are Oprah shows to come and star invitations to Davos in the IPCC yet to be forwarded in gilded envelopes with a computer-generated handwriting. Attend to this! This retrograde and democracy-denying bill emerged from the heights 
out of the thin altitude where the Prime Minister dwells and wherein the various wizards and shamans, the Praetorian guards of top advisors, hatch their schemes, knit their plots, and advance the leader's dearest notions. Like, what is this section even for, Rex? Like, what's the purpose of this section, honestly? Like, you're, you're just using words like woke and woke meister, which is like hyper cringy, dude. Like, ooh, that, that, that makes me go like, ooh, when, when, when you talk this way. And you, you, you set up a question where you say, who are these people passing this nefarious legislation? And then you just insult them, like, with the way that you do, right? But you're not actually informing anybody because I don't think you actually know. Right? I, I think you are illiterate. I don't think you know anything about the subject. It's really weird that people read this and kind of just nod and go along with it. Like, that's what's really weird. Only a PM and a bunch that carry the delusion that they are all wise and ever right, that they alone and only they should have rule and command over the thoughts and opinions of a whole nation, could have conceived Bill C-10 could have put their lawyers to work composing it, then waltzed into Parliament to put it on the order paper in the first place. This is an exceptional statement to make because this is legislation that has ex existed for television for decades, right? As I've stated already. Like, to, to say that, uh, oh, what they're doing is this high delusional crazy, oh my goodness, it's insane, like, no, calm down. You're, you're being hysterical. What 21st century government, aware of speech and thought control in the great and cruel totalitarian governments of the past century, and their cruel brethren of the 21st, communist China, sinister North Korea, Iran, every tyranny or dictatorship on the globe, could wish to ape and mirror the central characteristic of all such regimes. All of them ruled and ruled today by censorship, monitoring citizens' thoughts and writing, even private conversation. Speech controls breed a nation of spies. Like, y you're hearing this, right? Like, you're hearing how absurd and lunatic level these conservatives are getting, right? That Rex Murphy is being permitted to actually say this. Like, this went to an editor's desk. An editor read this and went... Ah, yes, this is fully appropriate. I'm going to publish this nationally into the world so that people can read it and take it seriously as if Rex Murphy is a serious commentator, right? You're taking legislation that exists already and has existed for decades in Canada and applying it to the new medium of the internet so places like Netflix will have to publish uh, Canadian content, right? Which is perfectly reasonable uh, and completely rational, uh, and you're elevating it so that it's communist China and sinister North Korea, right? Like, this is delusional hysteria. Bill C-10 may be a kitten mischief compared with the hideous savageries of full-blown tyrannies, but great oaks out of little acorns grow. Beware the seedlings of thought and speech control. Which is another way of saying, do not let governments even toy with the fundamentals of democratic understanding and the absolutes of democratic practice. This to me just sounds like a defense of fascism, right? Like, t which is typical of conservatism, if you ask me, right? Like, if, if you say, hey, you can't walk around saying we should imprison people who want to round up Jews, right? Like, if you say that, then the fascists go, oh, you're blocking my free speech! Oh, my free speech to be able to scream that we should kill Jews! Oh, right? Like, in my view, this, this, this kind of speech is bordering on dangerous to begin with, right? Like, what is he doing here if not defending uh, the virtues of some of the worst, most barbaric speech that happens here in Canada? Like, hate speech is real. It has profound effects. And Rex Murphy seems to want to proliferate that. Here's another observation. A government that yearns to censor, to pry and oversee the speech and thought of its citizens don't trust its citizens, and believes therefore it has the right to herd them into holding opinions that their wiser, smarter, and obviously more progressive government tells them they must have. 
It's a marvelous instance of political conceit. Like, I understand not trusting the liberals, right? Like, I understand that. But you need to live in a space that's rational, right? You need to live in a space that's reasonable, Rex, or else you sound the way you sound, which is like a delusional old man with a pretty decent grip on the English language. Like, you are delusional. Like, th th this is hysteria I'm seeing here. And it's completely indicative of the Conservative Party right now, generally, who lives in a completely delusional space, right? Conservatives deny the existence of climate change, who refuse to read, like, like the bill is literally two, three pages long, right? It takes, it, it would be easier, it would take me less time to read the bill out loud than it would to read Rex Murphy's, like, ridiculous nonsense that he's written here about Bill C-10. Right? And then everyone would hear, oh, Bill C-10, it's completely rational, it's laws that are already on the books, right? It explicitly states that it's not going to affect independent people posting on places like Facebook or Reddit. It explicitly states it. Uh, it's designed specifically for broadcasters like Netflix, Disney+, Plus, HBO, Crave, any of these guys. Uh, and here is... Uh, uh, Rex Murphy continuing this insane diatribe, saying stuff like this. Their reasoning precedes the drawing up Bill C-10 might easily be imagined. It would go something like this. Well, they, meaning the citizenry, elected us, meaning the Liberal Party, and we, therefore, being superior beings, now have the right to bring them up to our standards of respectable thought and acceptable opinion. We will wipe clean the moral blackboard and lay out for the voters what the voters are allowed to say and what they must say. Call it Cuba in a cold climate. We will also then apologize for their forebearers, for those morally numb pioneers who built the house of iniquity we know as Canada. We will deplore every past prime minister who was sadly neither as tolerant nor as knowing as we. Deo gratis are... Going ahead as progressives, let us insist on the right to declare the ideas Canadians should have, and put a block on those they cannot be allowed to have. And let us be grateful that this is the one administration, the first since 1867, with the wit and moral savvy to recognize what was as deficit as those who went before us. All, of course, save one! There, in speculative and imaginative dialogue, is the voice of the mindset behind C-10. And the mindset is far more dangerous than the bill. An assertion that this government knows what's best and has the right to impose its ideas of what is right on everyone else. This is the new religion of the woke. They may have suspended the charge up the hill to put C-10 into law, but they have not unroped themselves from the attitudes and intentions behind it. The mindset behind C-10 is more consequential than the bill which issued from it. That this band of woke virtucrats understand themselves as better, more clever, and ever how entitled to impose all the imperatives of their virtue commandments on you. That's insane. Like, that's insane what he's saying. He's, he's literally saying, once you understand what Bill C-10 is, He's literally saying that expecting people who want to broadcast in Canada to meet the standards of broadcasting in Canada that have existed for decades is tyranny. It's madness. It's complete insanity. Rex Murphy needs to take his medication, go have a nap, and stop publishing these articles. I'll end with the words of one who was previously chairman of the CRTC, Peter Menzies. C-10 doesn't just infringe on free expression, it constitutes a full-blown assault upon it, and through it, the foundations of democracy. Well said, Mr. Menzies. Ending with a quote from Peter Menzies is, is absolutely adorable in this context, right? He's just another one of your hard-right, conservative, lunatic fringe kind of people who uh, has job positions in, like, the Calgary Herald or and, uh, and like, the Calgary Sun, right? Like, he's a hard-right commentarian, and 
Here you are just throwing your chips in with another one of your fellow delusional brethren who doesn't actually know anything about the bill, right? Who hasn't actually read anything. This is, and, and this is really why I wanted to do this is because we have to illustrate how dangerous it is to do this. How dangerous it is to misinform, to hype and create hysteria where none belongs. It's completely acceptable to say, hey, you're passing a bill that is going to regulate broadcasters uh, or sections of the internet. I would like to know what's inside of it. That's not what Rex Murphy is doing here, right? Rex Murphy is creating a delusional hysteria at the same level as like QAnon, as the same kind of conspiracy nonsense that we've seen that came, that led to the rise of Donald Trump, right? And Rex Murphy is here just plowing headfirst into high-level conspiracy nonsense, and we shouldn't let him get away with it. It's This is a very dangerous thing that Murphy is doing here, and it cannot be unopposed. Okay, guys, this is the end of this. If you've made it to this point, you have to like, share, and subscribe to the video. Those are the rules. Uh, Please go to thecanadiancommy.com. That's my website. Be sure to bookmark it because I'm sure that YouTube's going to shut me down at some point. So uh, be sure to go there for my new content as it comes up. I also have a podcast called The Socialist Agenda, and it's thesocialistagenda.com. Uh, please go have a listen. We update weekly. And, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> given the nonsense that we're experiencing here with hacks like Rex Murphy that are just filling the airwaves and filling the news channels with this delusional hysteria. You guys are doing really wonderfully. You truly, truly are. Uh, you're making good decisions for yourself. You're making good decisions for the people around you. You are a divine being standing on divine energy, and we could use some of it right now. Good luck. We're going to need it.